Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett has a new strategy aimed at reducing gun violence. He says he's changing tactics in response to some recent laws passed at the State House. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid explain, explains the plans unveiled just this morning. The city is halfway through Mayor Joe Hogsett's three-year, $150 million plan to curb violence in the streets. Now, that depends on boosting IMPD strategies and technology, helping neighbors discover their own anti-violence crime strategies, and also telling state lawmakers that the city needs more authority to enforce gun laws. Overall, gun homicide numbers in Indianapolis are up this year, while the number of murders is keeping pace with 2022 statistics. But those numbers remain well above pre-pandemic levels. Last July 1st, the state's new permitless carry law went into effect, which IMPD leaders say impacted officers' ability to track whether someone is legally in possession of a gun. Today, Mayor Hogsett said city county councilors will soon consider three new ordinances to control guns in Marion County. Those ordinances would not take effect unless the General Assembly agreed to roll back permitless carry, raise the age of firearms purchases, and ban semi-automatic rifles. Hogsett said he expects to catch flack from gun rights groups over his proposal. The mayor will also boost first-year starting pay for Indianapolis police officers to $72,000 and spend another $15 million on elevation grants for community anti-violence programs. A complete ban on the sale of military-style guns, such as the AR-15 used in our most recent attack on IMPD officers. This package will include raising the minimum age to purchase a firearm from 18 to 21. And this package will end permitless carry policies the city will also support local groups holding events on city-owned property in declaring them gun-free zones, and IMPD will hand out 500 free gun locks next month. At the IMPD Training Academy, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.